He's looking after the sepa. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty then, Danny found us this mechanic friend. Mechanic friend! Ooh, friend! Mechanic friend! <laughs> mechanic friend! So they're gonna do what we gotta do for the van to fix it up and get it road worthy. Yes, sir. So thank you, Danny, for helping me with that one, because I wouldn't know where to go. And those are good guys that we can trust. Of course. And Tony is a good friend of mine. They will uh, look after us. Yeah, no, he's a really good guy. I've known him for about three years now. And before, oh my God, I had a nightmare with mechanics, man, honestly. Like, when I was living back in London, I had like 10 friends I grew up with that were all mechanics, and we're all like brothers, you know what I mean? And they never, obviously, you know, we'd all do anything yeah. for each other, you know? That's the great thing. Like, you know, I had friends that were plumbers in all different types of trade and whatnot, and they'd always look after me, you know what I mean? And if you've got a few friends, you can check that the truth you know what I mean yeah of course absolutely <laughs> that's what I mean but with mechanics honestly mate it's one of those trades and no matter sadly where you go in the world they're always going to be looking at an angle to rip you off even more mechanics are known for it you know? You know? yeah well that's what I was like so, hesitant to I don't know where to go so my good friend Ken introduced me to Tony you know and Tony has always looked after Ken and given him like the cheapest pro honestly some of the work that he's done on his cars over the years and then he's told me how much it cost him and I was like what that make no sense, you know, but it's just because Ken is really good friends with his family mm, and whatnot. He's looking after the Seb van. He's looking after the Seb van. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was driving here with no windows down because the handles That missing. was the slowest I've ever driven though. What is up there, ladies and gentle monkeys? We're at the Hollywood sign. Hi, everybody. We're at the Hollywood... Oh, no, we're not. No, it's only one of the postcards. Two of the postcards, my originals. This one's well battered and weathered. I have a cutting plan. This year, I'm going to be releasing more and more Seb art. And these will be part of it. It will be like collector's pieces that you guys can own like an NFT, if you understand what that is, kind of a new cryptocurrency digital art. I'd even like to NFT my shirts in a way, all my merch, even my belt, like everything, make it like a special limited edition. There's only one of these postcards in the world. I mean, of the original one uh, with the battered edges and, and it's really did run with me all the way from Miami. Let's put it here. Can you see that? Yeah, perfect, right on the corner there. So, welcome to the shout outs department. My name's Seb, this is the cam, boom. This is Seb cam. And the reason I brought up Hollywood is because thanks to Cloud Nectar, who sent some money to my PayPal, PayPal Sebcam at gmail.com. Uh, and he says, somewhere between you and the Hollywood sign is a plate of fancy plants. <laughs> that was difficult to say. I want to say fancy pants. Like, I got fancy pants. Everybody's wearing fancy pants. But he said fancy plants with your name on. Hope this, uh, this supplies some much needed fuel. Piece of fruit, brother. Thank you so much, Tim. Cloud Nectar. That's the guy who does the amazing collages. I'll put his Instagram here. Go check out his art. Speaking of art, Tim's going to help me with this. NFT, Seb Art, Evolution from Miami to Hollywood as an art piece coming soon to a art gallery near you. It's like real life art. It's exciting. I'm going to talk more about that later. That, this is not what this video is. This is just a shout out bit. I'm giving you a clue of what to head. A few clues. Let me just drink some of my smoothie. I'm quite enjoying all these melons. Look how many melons I have. Melons everywhere. Melons and lemons and lemons and melons. They go really well together. Give it a squeeze. And just plop it in the blender too. Dave McDave and Daniel and Alex says, Hey big man, 
some supermarket vouchers. I can't pass by the word without going supermarket, supermarket. I would have otherwise spent on coffee. I love hearing these messages. Like when we have one at Christmas, like I would have otherwise bought a turkey. Like Dave no longer drinks coffee by the sounds of it. He got off the most common drinkable drug on in earth, on earth. Take care and stay safe. Love and peace from freezing cold Scotland at 1.30 a.m. Yeah, that sounds harsh. I hope you warmed up a bit now. It's summertime. I actually bought all of these bananas because they were ripe. Not only these on the top here, there's more. I could do melons, bananas, melons, bananas. But I prefer to just do pure melons. It's just gonna be mono fruit. I'm gonna freeze these. They're gonna be really good ice cream. You've gotta peel them first. That's really the only step. Step one, peel the banana and put it in a bag. Step two, put that bag in the freezer. I suppose step three, we'll do that later. Which is how to time it right with the, the defrost so that you get a good consistency of the banana ice cream. This can go straight in here. What? Boom. I don't even feel like I'm missing out on anything. I don't think, oh, I wish I had banana smoothies. I don't think, I wish I had Taco Bell or Chipotle or anything. I'm actually thrilled about this. I'm not thinking, oh no, you know, only melons. Like, let's struggle through. It's the opposite. I'm like, yes, it's super excited. Got an amazing price. It's the right time of year. They're seeded. Now you're getting into good material. This is the end. I'm gonna get my life back. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. So now you shit it. See you guys. I knew this day would come. I didn't want it done. But I'll have to learn to live with it. Take an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow. <laughs> If you're over 60 or 50 in Scotland, you have cancer. Treatment can involve having flying lessons, a few bites of pizza and a joint. Always drink between 6 and 8 glasses of strong, smelly urine. Drink so much that it makes you vomit. There are plenty of good side effects. It's common to get roast potatoes in the vagina. She's got a roast potato right up there.